is a gentleman that has had great success as an entrepreneur based in uh, Boston over the last 10 years. Um, and he has been involved in fast-paced business, both local and international. And uh, today he's going to share his journey with us because most of you are also budding entrepreneurs. You have visions, you have dreams, you have products. And one of our goals is to help you see that it is possible to start and keep going, regardless of what industry you're in. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome Mr. Brian Kayo. Hello everyone, my name is Brian Kayongo, I'm the CEO of Concept Real Estate. I'm so glad to be here with you today. I like the Honorable say that uh, I saw a family which is seated over there and uh, you're being a disgrace to yourself because ask me why. The Honorable just said something which is really important, which happens when you come to these conferences. You need to network. The strangers have your opportunity. If you know your neighbor, you didn't get disgraced to yourself that you're sitting next to them. The next person you need to sit with is a new person in your life. You've never seen, you don't know even their names. So I'll beg in just the five minutes I've given me, in one minute, I want to ask to mix ourselves. If you have been sitting here side, you move to this other side. Please. I'm just begging you. You will see, you will not regret this experience. I want to give a solution to some of the things which one of us said here today. The first one is, he has an opportunity, a gentleman in Kampala, who has innovated something, which it goes also to all of us here. People innovate stuff, and they don't know even where to start from. People innovate stuff, and they don't know how even to brand the, the innovation. People innovate stuff, and they don't know how even to get the funds to fund the innovation. Because most of us here, when we do presentations about tech, we are looking, where can we get the funds to continue? Because all of us will have an idea in us. All of us will have an idea to create, but we're looking, where can we get the money to continue innovating? Where can we get the money to expand on our innovation? That is the worst situation which is happening to us. But I thank God, this year I got blessed to visit Namibia. You know Africa is big with different countries and different cultures. So when I went to Namibia, I found a concept. This concept was done by MIT University. I was blessed that I've been working under the MIT University on their innovation center. So. I go there and one of the gentlemen who is the general counsel about innovation gives me an opportunity to travel with them to Namibia. I reach there and I find a couple of innovators. People have innovated different stuff on uh, robotics, biotech research, and all that stuff. And I ask myself, how, why is Namibia so successful than Uganda in innovation? Why do they get even the funds to be able to innovate? What they have done is that they have learned to do they created what they call the Innovation Export Hub in the U.S. That even if you innovate stuff in your country, your country is not big enough for the market to obtain what you are innovating. So the solution to everything is that as long as you can innovate and you can build an export hub, like for example, right now recently, two months ago, we opened up an export hub. Uh, it's called the Uganda Export Hub with MIT. So MIT given us an opportunity to work with us and we created what they call the Ugandan Export Hub. So that is the one first solution to Honorable. That, that Export Hub, what does it help to people? What it does, MIT is one of the biggest economies. Everyone knows that, I think. They get funded in sorts of ways. If you have a stamp for MIT for any innovation you are doing, you get funded so easily and quickly. So what we have done is that we are helping Ugandans who are in Uganda and they have involved also who are here in the US. Those who are, I know so many people have not known that we have done this because it's just two months old. The partnership which we have done with MIT. But what we have done that innovators and people who are creating different ideas or technology, they can work together with us through the MIT flagship to get funds into their innovations. Because as long as you create and you don't have the resources to continue building, you cannot grow. As long as you can create and you don't have the proper planning for your innovation, you cannot also work, grow. So the solution has been that let us get these companies to be under our flagship and help us to brand and help us to access funds 
for our innovation. So I want you to join us, to join the Uganda Innovation Hub. It's a non-profit uh, organization. Anyone who you have created any idea will help you access the funds for your innovation, will help you on branding, will help you on building your infrastructure. And also there are so many corporate companies which are looking to work with you. They have a list of more than 10,000 companies which are looking for people who are like you are creating ideas. And they're just waiting, when can you come? Right now we're in a position whereby we don't have enough people coming through. So we are inviting you to come and work with us. To continue growing our company. Because we realize you find a country like Uganda, we have got oil and gas. But oil and gas is not going to help Uganda. But what is going to help Uganda is to be able to get people export their technology to other parts of the world. Like the way here in America people innovate and you find the iPhone, it was innovated here, but it's everywhere in the world. So in Uganda, if we innovate something and we can take it to the global market, not only stay in the global market, it brings a big fun to our country. So that is my calling to you, please. The other thing which I want to share with you is about procrastination. Everything today this weekend is going to be said. People are going to show us the ideas they have. People are going to show us the innovations they have created. People are going to give us all the greatest ideas which even our eyes have never imagined. But what is our worst enemy with this? Is procrastination. It's the worst enemy all of us we are going to fight after here. It's the enemy which everyone fights in their own way. It's the enemy which you don't have a solution for as long as you just do one thing. For my, my, my quest to everyone here is that with all the conversations we have had here, with all the partnerships you get here, with all the network you get from here, with all the solutions you get from here, just go do it. Just go do it. That is the only one. If you can write it anywhere on your wall, everywhere you sit and just say one word, just do it. Because why are we lagging behind? Not that we don't have the ideas. Not that we don't have the technology to create what we have to create. Because we are not doing People here know how to talk. But let us just do it.